We will here look at the difference between what is called NBCD coding and gray coding. So NBCD is short for natural binary coded decimal, which is what we have implicitly used so far when we have coded our integers. On the other hand, we could also use gray coding. So in gray coding, only one variable is changed for each step where we, when we go forward. And this will also be true when we go cyclically back from the last and back to the first step. So if we look at the case where we have n equals 4, that is four different numbers that we're going to code. So for MBCD coding, we would here use for 0, we will call this 0, 0. And for 1, we will call it 0, 1. For 2, 1, 0. And for 3, 1, 1. Instead, if we have gray coding, we would only change one variable for each step forward. Because what we can see here for the NBCD coding, when we go from 1 to 2, we will change two variables. So the first variable will change and also the second variable. And if we look at this cyclically, we also see that when we go from step 3 back to step 0 in this case, we also change both of the variables. So instead for gray coding, we only want to change one variable instead. So in this case, we could code the zero again as zero, zero. One, we could code as zero, one, because we are now still only changing one variable, the second one here. Now, in order to only change one variable, when we go to two, that is in the third step, we now change this to one, one instead, because it means we only change this first variable instead. And then in the last step, we would have one zero where we again only change one variable and if we now cyclically go back to the first step that is the one we call zero we only again only change one variable and we can do this also for three variables that is the case when n equals eight here so for our naturally binary coded decimal we would write zero as zero 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 one 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. So this is what we typically do when we want to enumerate all the possible inputs in our truth table. If we instead look at gray coding, then this can be realized as 0, 0, 0 and 0, 0, 1 again. And then we have 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, and finally 1, 0, 0. And if we look here, each time we go from one step to the next, we're always only changing one of the variables. And also when we go back to the first step from the last, we also change one variable here. And this way of coding things is going to be very, very useful for us. We are still going to use NBCD coding when we are coding our integers. But when we go from, for example, one state to the next, we will be able to code this using gray coding and also when we want to enumerate this in what we're going to use is called Carnot maps, then we are going to use this gray coding because it's going to simplify our life a lot. One natural question that arises is, can we always do this gray coding? Well, yes, if we have the case that n is some power of 2, then it is possible. And we can sketch the proof quite easily. So let us assume that we can do this where k equals 2. So in this case, we had 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, and 1, 0. So in this case, we had n equals 4 and k equals 2. So we know that we can do it for this case. Now, what we're going to show is that we can also use it for the case where k equals 3, that is when n equals 8. So when k is one more than what we have. So what we do is that we take 
our gray coded sequence that we had for k equals 2 and then we just repeat the sequence but we mirror it so we will write the same sequence but backwards so here we write 1 0 1 1 0 1 and 0 0 what we know now is that we do have only one variable change for these four because we assume we have that already from the beginning so one variable is changing here and also in this case we have one variable changing the only thing that we added is that we repeated the sequence again so here between these two we have zero variables changing and similarly between the last one and back to the first one we again have zero variables changing so what we can do now is that for all the first half of the uh, terms we wrote in our sequence let us just add a zero in the beginning this means that this one here does not change because we're adding the zero at all places and also now we add a one for all the other terms in the last half so since we added the same digit that is a one we don't also have any additional changes here so we still have one change in variables and since we just added one bit between these two this zero will go to one change instead and also between the last one here and the first one here we also added one change so this zero here will go to one so now we will again have only one change and this can be repeated for larger variables so for k equals 4 instead we just do the same thing we write the sequence we mirror the sequence for the first half we add a zero and for the second half we add a one and again we will have a great coding and this works very well if we have n is equal to 2 to the k for some k.